Watch for a reference to Dexter Gordon's Wee Dot at the end of this little ditty that I wrote.
I was so amped halfway through that that I wanted to raise my arm up in the air and give it the old fist pump, just like I learned from one of my best friends and favorite house DJ of all time, DJ Hush. But I couldn't, because I'm playing a musical instrument. So here's the fist pump. Note the fist rotation, just like Hushy taught me. Because I'm proud, because I nailed it. But I'm not that proud, because A, ah, a little flub in there, and also, it was so arranged and so rehearsed that I feel like I lip synced for the first time to make this video with the bold claim that yours truly, Jimmy Sizzle, is a champion of the American retro guitar. And I have to be bold, because if you think that Rodney Dangerfield had a hard time getting respect, try playing the jump jazz, swing jazz, jazzy blues guitar in the age of star search, karaoke, DJs, recycled lyrics, and dick in the box. Dick in the box? So in order to hold my own against some serious competition, I had to change the name of that little ditty. It used to be called Jimmy Shuffle, but that's a lame title back in the 40s, never mind these days, going head to head with songs like Dick in a Box. So the new title, in honor of the 40s, when we had an actual economic recovery, is Don't Break Out Your Zoot Suits Yet, This Ain't No Recovery. We're still singing the blues. Given that, kids, whatever you do, do not learn how to play the jump jazz, swing jazz, jazzy blues guitar like Jimmy Sizzle. If you're gonna go retro, learn how to ride your bike through city traffic and bring back the courier. Or, if you live in rural areas, bring back the milkman. There's a raw milk craze going on right now. And where it's legal, you can't get it everywhere and it's gotta be fresh. Or, just bootleg this stuff. Either way, whether you're bootlegging raw milk or bringing back the courier, You'll definitely spend way less time, and I guarantee you, you'll carve out yourself a nice niche market. What I just did may be appealing to less than 1% of us, mostly dudes, from the hippie generation, who despite years of weed, acid, technology, and television, still have enough time and the attention span to check out some music of their parents' generation. Or the rare Gen X or millennial who wants some deep retro. That's my niche market. And as far as sexiness of the guitar, it's nowhere near where it was years ago, kids. Let's face it, Joe the Plumber is more sexy than Jimmy Sizzle right about now. As well he should be. First of all, Big Joe is crushing it with the skills to pay the bills compared to me. Besides that, if you think the guitar slinging is more important or more appealing to the opposite sex than rigging infrastructure and taking back America, you're out of your mind. Of course, to confirm sexiness of the guitar, you're going to have to take that one up with the ladies, who are a little bit busy taking and posting selfies and other shots, checking out photos of dudes, dogs, and babies, posting comments, and checking their online dating profile of 20 to 50 dudes every day with their own profile portraying themselves as Prince Charming, when in actuality, the vast majority of them just want to get some ass. And kids, when it comes to writing songs, do not write traditional love songs like Jimmy Sizzle does either. Trust me, the
the business model is completely blown. You really want to be the dude that writes dick in a box. Or anything sexually blatant. Or recycle sad bastard lyrics from the 90s and early 2000s. Go figure. It's not creepy to be sexually blatant, sexually promiscuous, want to kill yourself, or put your dick in a box. But I wouldn't sing a version of I Want to Get You on a Slow Boat to China or Wild Horses Couldn't Drag Me Away. These songs these days are clingy, needy, too into me, which is kind of creepy. So don't be that dude. Go with the flow. Think dick in a box. Trust me, it's not easy being a retro champion, singing clean lyrics, playing tasteful guitar with solid arrangements and indie production. But thanks to a global market, hard work and dedication and consistency, and the sheer numbers game of it all, Jimmy Sizzle has a piece of the pie. Because when you Google Jimmy Sizzle, J-I-M-M-Y-S-I-Z-Z-L-E, I dominate for three pages ever since I went global on CD Baby, Amazon, iTunes, the Google Play Store, great indie music, and a host of radio stations and streaming services. Not that you're going to throw down the equivalent of a month's worth of Netflix, or a foofy coffee drink, or a Cosmo for that chick you want to shag to throw the big sizz some love and some loot, but I gotta plug my stock and trade, you dig? But just in case you do want to get your retro kink on, it's time to get busy filling your iPod, your phone, your laptop, or your desk rig with some serious retro by Googling Jimmy Sizzle. So thanks for listening to me completely ignore Frank Zappa's immortal advice for musicians to A. Get used to eating brown lumpy stuff, B. Shut up and play your guitar, and C. Get a real estate license. One more fist pump, and I'm out of here. Google Jimmy Sizzle.